This is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. It is now 8 a.m. Where did he run off to? Probably with some other woman, I bet. But that's fine. As long as he's happy, I'm fine with that. Don't worry. Maybe not today, but someday I'm going to be happy too. Right now, you're on the threshold of amazing adventure. Hey, darling, what's the matter? Mana funny. I finally remembered. I need you, Monophony. I... Too convenient, huh? I know I'll only hurt you more by saying stuff like that. <laughs> I'm sorry for everything. Goodbye. Hey. Wait, you silly man. Huh? Monotaro. My goodness, your body is coming apart. You really can't do anything on your own. Hey. All right, come here. I'll sew you back up. Hey, thank you, Monophony. Thank you. Why are you crying? That's so not like you. <laughs> the end? What the hell kind of ending was that? It was way too long for an announcement. Well. Oh well, I need to go to the dining hall. Hey all you cool cats and welcome back to another episode of Dungarumpa V3 Killing Harmony. I believe tomorrow is going to be Thanksgiving when I upload this video. It's Tuesday right now. But, um, so I want to say, uh, you know, have a happy holiday. Uh, enjoy your meals with your families. And if you're not celebrating Thanksgiving, then enjoy my Persona 5 video that I hope will upload tomorrow. Provided I, I do this on time. I'm probably going to get so much negative feedback on what happened with Mew last on the last episode. And I don't know what to say other than I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings about a character that you really like. Um, not everyone feels the same way towards the same characters. For example, my favorite character is Risei Kujikawa and uh, boy, have I heard so many mean and nasty things about that character, but I, it's kind of like I don't feel I don't feel like I need to justify That character to anybody else because I know she's a good character and when people react so negatively like that to her it's, She's just not their type and for me Characters that that bully other characters. They're not going to be my type of character no matter what sort of deep motivations or or backstories or whatever they've got going on with them, I'm probably just not gonna like the fact that they resort to bullying as their uh, way of handling it. But anyways, I'm gonna move on to Kaito here. Um, good morning, Kaito. Oh, hey, bro. Perfect timing. Can I get your opinion on something? Huh? Huh? For what? I mean... Well, it's about our training. Like I said before, my training is based on a systematic method, but I feel like something's missing. Uh, um, you do? I've only done sit-ups and push-ups so far. That's right. Even if I don't need it myself, in order for you two to grow, I feel like we should add something like martial arts or some kind of mental training. Oh, now that you mention it, I do have a practice sword. Oh, good idea. Practicing with those will be great training exercise. All right, let's not wait till night. We're gonna do this special training as soon as possible. Sure. All right, I got it. All right. It's decided. I'll bring Maki rolls, so let's meet at the usual place. But first, breakfast. I'll see you there. All right. Who is all the way over there? Is it gonna be like Gonta? It is Gonta. Gonta. Hey! Hey, come out! Where are you hiding? Come talk to Gonta. Gonta. Gonta, what's wrong? Are you looking for someone? He's looking for oh. the bugs again. Oh, oh, good morning, Shuichi. Gonta not looking for person. Gonta looking for tiny bug. Hmm. Uh, yes, I was wondering about that. Have you found any? Well, Gonta no can find him. 
Going to see him lots of times, so going to pretty sure it not mistake. Hmm, I see. But but going to happy Shuichi loves bugs so much. Huh? Huh? Uh, um, I, I don't like bugs that much. Huh? What? You hate bugs, Shuichi? Wait. No, I love them, Gonta. I said that before, right? You're right. Oh yeah, you're a good person, so of course you like bugs. Allow Gonta. All right, Gonta, go find Tiny Bug for Shuichi. No matter what it take, look forward to it. It's no use. Uh, I still get chills thinking about the insect meat and grief. So I'm going to try to be super thankful and, and cheerful this episode. <laughs> and we'll start with you, Himiko. How are you oh. this morning? Good morning, Himiko. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's you, Shuichi. This morning was very unfortunate. What happened? Huh? Did something happen? Mm. What are you saying? The Monocub's drama ended. Mm -hmm. Monotaro awakened in love. It looked like a new development, but then it was over the next day. So you were really looking forward to that, huh? Okay. I thought maybe it was going to turn out that Monofini had a baby in her stomach. Yeah, so I thought How that too, that? but... Oh. I was about to say, like, that, that wouldn't have happened because, like, they had just started getting romantic. Oh. I guess that could have been true. But I think they were just doing it all for, like, some sort of stupid shtick. <laughs> and it'd actually be the child of one of the dead monocubs. These are the kinds of melodramatic twists and turns I expected. But I'm not sure it would be much fun watching a melodrama like that. No, no, this is typical daytime soap opera stuff. Next she'll burn the roast, then bang, zoom. Ah! Oh! Oh, I got it! Oh, she's making a reference to, um, like, bang, zoom, straight to the moon. <laughs> right? That's what it... Okay. What the hell is she talking about? You're right. Well, if it's already over, then that's that. That's right. Throwing away my regrets and moving forward. That's my new way of life. Do you know a lot about soap operas? We are missing people. Hmm? Where are Mew and Kokichi? Jeez. I understand why Kokichi's gone, but where's Mew? Hmm. She's probably still messing with that computer on the fourth floor. That's right. Or maybe she had... Or she might be in her lab working on another invention. I saw her half-built machines in her lab when she performed maintenance on me. Hmm. Well, messing with machines and computers is about all she's good for. What could she be up to? Huh? Gonta. Gonta, what's wrong? Um... Gonta, still thinking since yesterday. How can Gonta be useful? What? But, Gonta no can think of anything. So frustrating. Come on, man. Okay, but you don't need to make such a scary face. Besides, it's not just you. That's something we all gotta think about. That's right. We should all be thinking about what we can do to survive. Hmm. Use your self-destruct system to save us. That's how robots make themselves useful. <laughs> so useful. Himiko, you're savage today. Hey! Even though that is true, at least hesitate before you blurt out something like that. But you admit it's true, huh? I guess. I'll keep thinking about it too. If I come up with a good idea, I'll tell you guys. Alright! Now that that's settled, let's eat! If you don't eat well, you can't think well. We finished eating breakfast and then returned to our rooms. We needed to get our thoughts together. We were completely unaware that an unspeakable malice was brewing. Okay. Oh yeah, we, we gotta hang out with uh, Kaito. I have training with Kaito now. He said the usual place. I'll meet him in the courtyard. 
Got it. Oh, there you are, bro. Well, I was kind of surprised. I was surprised when you mentioned a special kind of training. <laughs> well, you brought the thing we needed for our new training, right? What? New training? Shuichi. Pass it here. Okay. Here, but is it useful? Hmm. Is that a practice sword? Why would you have something like this? Huh? huh? Why are you making such a disgusted face, Maki? Roll. Ah, that's right, Maki. <sighs> so you didn't tell Kaito yet. Oh, yeah, I, I didn't think about that. When I first started working, I botched a mission with a katana. Since then, I decided not to use swords. I see. Oh, I see. Well, don't make that face. I know you didn't mean any harm by it. But you know. No, it's my fault for making you remember something that makes you feel bad. All right. All right, tell us about it now. I'll listen to all of it. What? Huh? Listen up. It's difficult to talk to people about your failures. I get it, but didn't I tell you? Maki roll. <laughs> he voiced the Maki roll thing. Being able to share your burdens with others, that's how you get stronger. Don't hold on to your past forever. You gotta confront it to move on. And I'm gonna help you with that. I don't understand. What are you saying? You're ridiculous. Anyway, that failure doesn't bother me anymore. Okay, sure. But I don't mind talking about it. Just be warned, it's a boring story. Before, she would have just told me to mind my own business. Maki has changed a lot since then. Well, when planning an assassination, you need to gather detailed information first. You need to know the target, their schedule, movements, friends and acquaintances. For this particular target, he normally worked late into the night. When I looked further into his schedule, I found out he was into some nerdy hobbies. Nerdy hobbies? You mean like Samugias? You mean like how Samug? You mean like how Samugias? That's right. Yeah, just like her. He especially liked cosplay. Huh? Cosplay? Never in a million years would I imagine hearing cosplay from Maki's mouth. I told you. So while I observed my target's private life, I thought of a good plan to get close to him while concealing my weapon. Uh, um... How? Wait, that says Kaito. How? Okay, a prop carrying case. Huh? What's that? How's it different from a normal carrying case? Well, Smoothie would know. It's a specially made carrying case for cosplay props. It can accommodate large props, so it's convenient to carry around. So I placed my- so I placed the katana in that carrying case and made my move. How annoying. But then, people around thought I was a cosplayer and something odd happened. Huh? What happened? <sighs> On that day, they were holding a cosplay event in the same hall the target had gone to. Unfortunately, I had the same height and hairstyle as a popular character who also carried a katana. They thought I was cosplaying that character. <laughs> so I got dragged into a hall by a group of excited people with expensive cameras. They almost saw the weapons I had in my case. If they had, they would have found out my katana was actually real. Sounds like a close call. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering what this serious failure of yours was going to be. Okay. Yeah, honestly, it was much cuter than what I was expecting. <sighs> Don't laugh. For me, it was very serious. That's right. I was branded as a failure because of something so stupid. If they didn't donate to the orphanage anymore, then it would have been the end. Ah, oh. uh, you're right. My bad. Yeah, you're right. That's not funny. I'm really sorry for laughing. Sorry. Yes, me too. Sorry for laughing, Maki. <laughs> that face. Jeez. You don't need to apologize. I'm not mad. Maki turned her head to the side with a pout. 
That expression on her face, opening up to us with her stories. I could never have imagined this. My impression of her has changed yet again. There's still so much I don't know about Maki and Kaito. I hope Maki is right. We can learn more about each other after we get out. No. We will become friends. We'll definitely get out of here. <laughs> after a bout of training with the sword, I return to my room. What to do? What can I do? The only thing I'm good at is solving mysteries, but I can't figure out this academy. I don't have many clues, but that's no excuse. Oh! It's 100% now. So that means I've obtained everything that I can from that, huh? Oh, there's still gaps, though. It's guaranteed to repeat, but there's so many gaps. I'm guessing, like, maybe some of this stuff is only available in the extra mode of this game? I guess. Hey, Himiko. Because I'm a maid. There's one thing I can do. I'll support you with my magic. Hang out with Himiko for a while? Yeah. That's fine. Huh. Leave it to me. Nothing's impossible with my magic. But there's a limit to even my magical powers. Make sure you understand that. Sorry. Shuichi, I'm sorry I treated you like that. Huh? Where's this apology coming from? I... Before, I thought it was a pain to tell you about magic, but... Okay! Now I've decided. I've changed. I've decided to live looking forward. So I'm gonna tell you about magic without saying it's a pain. Hmm. I, I see. What is this? She's different than usual. Hey, Suichi. Isn't that why you came here? To continue where we left off? Uh, okay. Ah, uh, right. Of course. I'd like to hear it, if that's okay. Perhaps there's no real point to the story at all. Yeah! Yeah. I'm pleased to see you show so much interest in mages. Miko looked happy, but her expression quickly faded. But... I couldn't stop my master from retiring. A person got with... A person after his title got just what he wanted. Huh? What? What do you mean? Hmm. One time, my master was about to start one of his shows. Way in the back of the audience. My master's enemy was working his scheme. Do you know about the war- Do you know about the mortal enemy of mages in this world? Uh, um, mortal enemy? Okay. I have the power to take away magic. An anti-mage. This is starting to sound like a manga. Why you? This anti-mage took my master's magic and made him fail. Huh? What? My master was set up. There's no way he would have failed otherwise. My golden age master wouldn't lose to an anti-mage. But... But the audience turned against my master. So I tried to wake them up. On behalf of my master, I destroyed the anti-mage. So Himiko tried to fix her master's mistakes. But that means... With my magic. My master wouldn't lose against someone I could defeat. Yes, I told them off. Show ended without any more problems, but when I went back to the green room, my master was gone. I haven't seen him since then. Just as I thought. He was probably embarrassed to have Himiko fix his mistakes. That's... Himiko, none of that is your fault. Stop it. I know. I don't need your pity. Sorry. Sorry? No. There's no need to apologize. And what my master must have been thinking. It'll be okay. He probably disappeared for my sake. He probably didn't want me to involved in a mage power struggle. That's right. It must have been it. Hmm. Here we go. It's not your fault that you were really good. I couldn't find the words to say. I watched Himiko walk away. Her head hung low and I returned to my room. 
looks like I still have some free time. Really? Oh my gosh, we're gonna finish that. I thought for sure we were gonna progress. All right. Oh my. Wow. Hi, Yumiko. Yeah, you need to talk to me or something? Should I hang out with Yumiko? Yes. I see. You bored? You can come with me. I'm tired. If I don't rest now, I won't make it to tonight. I spent some time relaxing with Himiko, who had tired herself out from being positive. Himiko and I grew a little closer today. Yes. Let's give her something. Is that all right? Himiko, there's something I have to tell you no matter what happens. What? What? Don't tell me you fell for me. Wait! No, it's not that. It's something about your master. Yeah? Yeah, my master? Okay. Yes, I was thinking about your story. Perhaps your master is training in secret so that he can perform with you again. Himiko's face didn't change. She must be thinking the same thing. Maybe just hoping. Hmm. You might be right. Is it this one? Because the top, middle, top and bottom ones sound the same. I'm just gonna go with this one. I, I don't understand why she's got a sad expression to that. I'm sorry I said that. I wasn't thinking. Sorry. Stop it. If you're gonna apologize for it, then it'd be better if you just never said it. That's true, but I thought I was butting in on something private. You're worried about that now? Outside of a crisis, you're kind of dumb. <laughs> I can't even find my master using my magic. That's probably because he doesn't want me to find him. Like you said, maybe there's a reason. Maybe he's training in secret. I thought of that too. Okay. That's why you're focused on improving your magic. That's... Your master's polishing up on his magic too, Limiko, to perform with you again. That's why you need to continue working hard as a magician. It's supposed to be made, Shuichi. <laughs> magic tricks are what connect you to your master. That must be why she's never too lazy to do magic. Right? Am I wrong? No. You're wrong. Huh? huh? It's magic. It's not magic tricks. It's real magic. Oh. Uh... Sorry, you're right. Real magic. Jeez. That's right. Jeez, when will you get it? Then... Well, anyway, we have to get out of here soon, so you can perform together. Hmm, you're right. I'm gonna be more positive and work harder. I'll support you with my magic. You can rely on me, okay? Okay. All right, Himiko. Thank you. Himiko and I are focused... Miko and I are both focused on the same goal, getting out of here. It's because of our bond that we can stand together like this. If I put my trust in that bond, I know we can overcome anything. Boom! I've learned the new skill, Abracadabra! I have no idea what the skill does. Himiko and I parted ways and I returned to my room. Oh god, I forgot. No, I don't want her panties. Maki? The doorbell? Is it Kaito or Maki looking for me? Oh, God, no. <sighs> Just an immediate reaction to that. <clears throat> Hey there, Pooigi. Hmm. No, what about Gooigi? Spooigi? <laughs> Whatever, pick any nickname you want. Huh? Mew, what are you doing here? Ha, fucking virgin! I figured me and the twins could swing by and pay your virgin ass a visit. Got a boner yet? Hey! What are you doing here? Ah! Uh. What am I doing here? Ah! Uh. Cheer up! Thanks to me, you get to leave this confining place. Can escape? Oh no, she's 
She didn't plan something for us to escape, did she? She's been working on like... I don't know what she's been working on, but it's not gonna help us escape. She's been messing with that computer. What is she gonna do? Just come to the computer room on the fourth floor in the academy. When there's no run. So if you wanna run one out while you think about me, you got time. <laughs> <laughs> but you better bring the crusty tissues out to work. <sighs> Despite what she's saying, she doesn't sound all that serious. But I shouldn't just ignore her. The computer room on the fourth floor. Hmm. Hmm, Himiko? What? Oh, hello, Shibichi. Did Mia tell you to meet up, too? Okay. Yeah, so everyone got the same message? Hmm. She said we'd be able to get out of here, but this all smells really fishy. My magical instincts are telling me to not get involved with Mio. But... You got good instincts. <laughs> but she, but she might have found the only means of escape. I think we should go, just in case. You're right. I guess you're right. Huh? Himiko, what's wrong? No. I just remembered how Tenka would always grab my hand and pull me along at times like this. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. I can picture Tenko taking her hand and saying, "I'll protect you." Hmm. All right, I'll learn from Tenko and move forward. Well then, Shuichi, I'll go on ahead. You should head over soon, too. <sighs> oh, we're going into like a VR hmm. thing? <sighs> As I suspected, everyone was brought here. Virgin. Don't act all depressed just because you didn't get to spend any alone time with me. Huh? Do I look depressed to you? Actually, there's no way we wouldn't show up when you we were told there's a chance to escape. Hmm. But I still think it smells fishy. Uh... Really? Doesn't it smell like something fun is going to happen instead? Jeez. You always seem to show up for stuff like this. I've got you figured out. Thanks. Thanks. The key to a mutual friendship is understanding each other. All right already. So, what's this way of getting out of here? Hmm. Is there really a way? Sure. To die? Of course there is. Geniuses like me never make mistakes. Hey. So, how are we going to escape? Out of my way. Yeah. We are going to another world. A world where no killing games and no monokuma. Huh? Oh, you want to know, huh, do ya? <laughs> I'm telling you if you bow to me, on your knees, now. What? Huh? Why? <laughs> when Suichi and Kaede bow to me, it sort of awoke something in me. Fuck all y'all. Now hurry and fall up and bow to me, you masochistic shit. Hmm? Shouldn't you be the one bowing down to us? You want us to listen, right? And get down on your knees and beg like a dog. What, what the hell? Isn't that weird? You get it? Everyone's wasting their precious time on a worthless piece of trash like you. So you better bow down and beg. Come on, hurry it up. Um, why? I stayed up all night getting this ready for everyone. Alrighty. Okay then, everyone, let's go. Okay then. Everyone, let's go. Wait! Wait! I wanna talk about it. <laughs> we have like a manga thing going on? Is this in Sumugi's mind? Because like, I don't see her in here. Listen. <sighs> All right. Talk. Hmm. I actually feel sorry for her. Oh. Hey, that's a nice to hear her out. See? 
Did you hear that, Mew? Good for you. Get it? How long are you gonna be depressed for, you sow? Hurry up and tell us, Squid Breath. <laughs> yes, sir. Please forgive me. Oh, so when I said another world, I was talking about this big end computer. Huh? What this? Um, there's this device connected to the computer that you put on your head. It uploads your consciousness so you can go to a world created by a computer program. What? A world created by a computer program? Got it. Oh, going to understand. Exit is that computer box. So we gotta break it open and go in? Ah! No, if you try to force your way in, you'll just destroy it. Hmm. You mean this virtual reality, right? Um, it's more than a virtual... It's more than just a virtual reality, it's a virtual world. Because your consciousness will be able to move around as you're in the whole real world. <sighs> it's the Matrix. I saw a movie about that sort of thing on TV when I was little. That being said. Alright, now let's go. Huh? huh? Go? Like, to the virtual world? Sure. Yeah, let's all go together. I don't wanna. No way. <gasps> what? What? You promised that we'd all come at the same time. What? I didn't promise you anything. What are you talking about? Um, just in case, I should ask a question. What's going to happen to our consciousness when we're inside the computer? So, I'm guessing Himiko doesn't want to go in because this is kind of like running away from the problem rather than facing it head on. Which she's, you know, just up and like, she's not going to go... She doesn't want to go with that. Right? Oh, so he used avatars as our new bodies to link our consciousness to the virtual world. Why? How do you know this? <laughs> you told me already. I helped to prepare our trip to the virtual world. I brought all of our seats here. In exchange, I made her tell me the reason. Uh, um... That's what the apology was. Um, what are you guys talking about? What's this avatar? Which means? They're characters that will represent you while you're in the virtual world. Ah. In other world, in other words, this computer will transfer our consciousness from our bodies and shove them in the avatars inside the virtual world. And then... I fucking rule! We'll have new bodies in the new world. A world without murder and Monokuma. Uh, um. But what happens to our real bodies? Hmm. Your body will basically be asleep for a duration. In that sense, it'll be like a dream. Booyah! All right, let's go. No. Like I said, we're not going. It's definitely dangerous. Ah! Send the phone up, Donkey Lips. I'm telling you, it's no fucking dangerous. I don't wanna. Saying that makes it sound even more dangerous. <laughs> What the? Am I really that untrustworthy? Listen up! Well then, you'll be relieved to know that I didn't even create this virtual world. Someone else made it, apparently. Like Monokuma? What? Someone else? So an avatar is another body, but I like this one. This body made my soul, and my soul made this body. Okay. Which means my body and soul together make me who I am. Separating them is outrageous. So it separates the consciousness from the body. If that's possible, then... Nope. No, it's nothing. Um. Hey, Mew, who made the virtual world? Yeah, you did. Of course you did it. Oh, that's right. It was me. Yeah, I knew it. Daddy! Oh, Daddy, you really can't do anything. Um, huh? Daddy? Which one is my daddy? Father! Him. He's my daddy. Please stop. No, I'm not. Now then, allow me to explain. I used a certain program as a template to create this virtual world. 
And that program is the Killing Game Simulator. What? Killing Game Simulator? Yeah. Well, with that, I made up my mind. I definitely won't go in there now. Wait! Wait. I said wait, damn it. You can't! If Monokuma made it, it's dangerous for sure. Uh, right. I pulled an all nighter investigating it, and I deleted everything dangerous from it. It's definitely safe, I swear. Right. There's no need to worry. It's just a simulator, right? Well. Now, this is Monokuma we're talking about. It may not even be a real simulator. Dun, dun, dun. Danny's right. Eh? Hey, whose side are you on? That's right. I'm not your daddy! You. Oh, Kuro, why not accept him as your child for now? Incomprehensible. For now? I can't play along. He's not even my child. You know. You guys are only been because you haven't been in a virtual world yet. Once you go, you'll understand. What's the problem? Seriously, it's so fucking awesome. I know you guys will love it. And then, you're gonna fall in love with me for showing it to you guys. Come with me. So let's just dive right in, okay? We'll do it together. But, but it's a world that Monokuma created, right? Just the tip is fine. If you don't want to dive in, you can just dip the tip. The tip of what? By the way. But you just said you pulled it all night or adjusting everything, right, Mew? So that means it was originally a killing game simulator, but not anymore, yeah? Uh, okay. Yeah, that's right. I rewrote the program to delete all dangerous objects that could be used as weapons. Mommy! <laughs> that's what a good mommy would do. What? Mommy? Yes. What is this weird sensation in my chest? Is this what it feels like to be a mom? How exciting! Hey, let's trust Mew. We should trust in our friends more anyway. Why? Why are you on Mew's side? Yeah, that's... that's alarming. In general, I just want to do the opposite of, every, of everything you say. Because I trust you in the sense that I trust that you're always trying to drive me away from the thing. So... I almost wanna... What did you do to it? Uh -uh. I'm not taking her side, but it's like, I have a feeling we'll find something in that world. What is it? Something. Hmm. I mean, Monokuma created this world, right? Maybe he laid a bait to lure us in. <laughs> like a super duper crazy secret hidden in that world. Uh, um... Uh, secret? <laughs> Well, Monokuma, did you prepare some sort of bait for us? Huh? Oh, bait? Yeah, of course I have. Oh, really? This is the first I've heard of this. Okay. Me too. Yes. Mommy's hearing... Mommy's hearing about this for the first time too. Ah. She accepted him? Like Kokichi said, there's a crazy secret hidden somewhere in that virtual world. It's the secret of the outside world. Huh? The secret of the outside world? Yeah. All I can tell you about the secret is that if you get your hands on it, Yay! you'll instantly learn about what's happening outside of the academy. Um, hold on. What's happening outside? What are you talking about? It's like he's saying something is going on out there, but that can't be right. Hmm. You think it has to do with those meteorites? <laughs> <laughs> is your curiosity peaked? Then you have no choice but to go. Right? Yeah, we want to know, so we de we'll definitely go. Uh, um... Okay, gee, what's going on here? Did you know about this all along? That Monokuma is hiding a secret in the virtual world. Don't joke around like that. It's just a hunch. Anyway, we can't ignore it. It's possible we might find info on the outside world. Maybe with that info, we could even put an end to this killing game. Huh? huh? We can end killing game? Got it. Then Gonto will go. Gonto will go to this virtual world place. You can't! Wait, you can't. It's probably a trap something Monokuma. But but even if there is a small chance that we can stop the killing game, we should take it. I heard it. Yes, that's what my inner voice is telling me. 
Are you still talking about your inner voice? We're already sick of all that Atua stuff. Listen closely. As I've mentioned before, this has nothing to do with Angie's influence. Whenever I'm lost, my inner voice tells me what to do. What does that mean? I have always obeyed that voice, and I will continue to do so. We must do it. That's why I'm going to go to the virtual world. All right. Then I'm going to. Huh? You too, Kaido. Got it. Yeah, this secret of the outside world stuff worries me, but I want to check this world out. Call it a man's curiosity. Idiots at it again. <laughs> Shut up! When a man loses curiosity, he ages. Curiosity is what moves a man. I don't care. I can stop talking now, but I guess I'll be an idiot too. Huh? Oh, wait. You're going too, Maki? What do you mean? Of course. You're coming along, right, Shuichi? And don't say no because it's dangerous. You've been in danger for a while now. That's true. My ability is to gather evidence and reveal the truth. So I can't run away from this. You're right. All right. I'll go too. You can't! Oh, oh, why? It's going to be... Oh, oh, why? It's definitely going to be dangerous. It's true. No matter how dangerous it gets, we just have to do it. Hmm. Fine, I'll go too. Being left behind will just make me worry. Okay. Then everyone except Smoky is going. Stop! Oh boy, if everyone is gonna go, I will too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now everyone's going. Um, Kokichi, are you planning something? <laughs> <laughs> of course not. After Kaito punched me, I became a changed man. That is the biggest lie he's ever told in his entire life. So relax and just trust me. That being said. Alright, then let's get started before you cockroaches change your damn mind. Fucking slugs! First, each of you gotta grab a helmet and plant your ass on one of those seats. I understand. Okay. Fine. With Mew instructing us, we got in position around the computer. You mean this? That's where you plug in the two cords that connect you to the computer! Ah, these cords. The red cord is for consciousness, and the blue cord is for memory. I could start throwing down some real fancy techno jargon, but you idiots wouldn't get it. All you need to know is those cords will cram your consciousness and memory into the virtual world. Okay. Just don't shove them into the wrong hole! And yes, that is what she said. Okay, fine. If she said so. So then, which ports to which ports? Put the red consciousness cord in the right port, and the blue memory cord in the left. Out of curiosity, what happens if you switch the ports? I don't know. I've never done that before. Probably gets all glitchy or something. Maybe you'll become a vegetable, maybe you'll body swap with someone, who knows? Well, I guess we'll just have to be careful not to switch the cords then. It's okay. If you stay calm, then there won't be any problems. We'll be alright. Some fiddling around, we were all hooked up to the device. Listen up! Then you just gotta put the helmet on your head. <laughs> Finally, press the button near your temple and you'll be whisked away to the virtual world. A paradise more beautiful than the real world, where there's no murder and no monokuma. So, when Gonta press button, Avatar person take Gonta to virtual world place. Ah. Oh, for the love of you, yeah, sure, whatever makes sense for you. Hmm. By the way, I tweaked your avatars to make them resemble you guys. In fact, compared to your current notes, they're a major improvement. Congrats, Hinako. You don't even need to pay for expensive plastic surgery anymore. Hmm. Now 
never wanted plastic surgery. I like my face. Jeez. I'm still nervous about this. Shut up! Good job I'm fucking doing already. Four eyes. Jeez. Got it. Alright, everybody. Let's go! Can't ignore our chance to discover clues about the outside world. All right. Okay, let's go. See ya! Yeah, right. I placed the helmet on my head and after a deep breath turned on the switch. And then... The Neo World Program. <clears throat> Welcome to the Neo World Program. In an instant, we were standing in the other world. Yes, we were there. What is going on? This is. So this is the virtual world. Seems like it seems like it's completely different from what we were told. Why? These graphics are really disappointing. How's this supposed to be better than the real world? These avatars are really disappointing too. I wanted to have the face of a supermodel. Hmm. I thought you said you liked your face. I still have a robot body. I must admit, I was secretly expecting more. Hoping for a change, Kipo? But you know. But it feels weird. I can move this avatar like I could my own body, right? And with this body, I don't have to worry about all that stuff. Huh? What stuff? Uh, no, it's nothing. All right already. I want to go back. Wait! That was quick. So this is the virtual world. I see, I see. I see. And this is my avatar. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I get it now. <laughs> Ouch! Oh, what did you do that for? Oh, oh so that hurt. <gasps> oh, well now that you mention it, I felt genuine pain just now. Wow! That's pretty impressive. If you felt pain, that means our senses are connected. Got a minute? Our senses are connected. <laughs> this place is so This place is so great. I come here all the time. It's way better than the real world. Hey! What the heck are you talking about, you fraud? <laughs> Actually, plus this is totally different from what you said. Plus, this avatar has disappointing graphics. <laughs> you know there's nothing to write home about. Rest me, you look a billion times better now. What was that? What? By the way. Anyway, what do you mean our senses are connected? I need an explanation. Uh huh? Uh huh? Didn't I tell you? <laughs> Ouch! But... It means that this goes way beyond the realm of virtual reality. We are actually connected. Please stop! We get it! So stop hitting me! Hmm. No can do. Even if they are avatars, I can never hit a person. That's robophobic. E even here! I can't escape your robophobia! <sighs> How are our senses set up? Ah. When your avatar receives any sensory input, electrical signals are sent to your brain. Your brain then interprets these signals as if you experienced that sensory input for real. So... So, even if we're not really being punched, the brain senses pain because of those signals. Oh, I see. And since it won't leave any bruises, we can hit all you want. Oh, dear. That's a bully's twisted logic. Weird. Hey, why are bodies like this? This Himiko magic. Uh, well, there's lots of things going on right now, but you don't have to worry, Konta. Uh, um... So how exactly are we supposed to find the secret of the outside world? You know... We don't even know where to start looking! That's right. 
First, we need to learn about this world. Is there a map available? Ah. Yeah, I've got a map, but first I'm gonna give you a quick warning about this world. What? Oh, warning? We need to be quicker on the draw with stuff like that. Huh? I'm kinda of quick on the draw, but not too quick, because then you can't pull it out in time. Cut it out. Shut up. I wonder what pulls for this place could be. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say. Oh, the speed walking still works. This is cute, though. Oh, the sound actually moves from one head, one side of my headset to the other, so it's, it's actually like I'm looking at it. <laughs> That's crazy. Hmm. Information from our five senses here is being sent to our real bodies. It seems like information from our real bodies isn't sent to our consciousness from here. If that's the case, then it's fine, but... Jeez. Oh, On top of the graphics and our senses, there's even more warnings. This really is fraud. What did you expect? Um... So this is virtual world. But how we even get here? Going to not feel anyone pick him up. We got here so fast. That's... Uh, well, it's like Samuki said, you don't have to worry. Move on. Uh, um, so, what do you have to tell us, Mew? Sure. Well, it's not that big of a deal, but there is a special world in its world. Objects here are unbreakable. Huh? Mm -hmm. Objects don't break? You know. In the virtual world, there are no rules that govern whether objects can break. So, any object, no matter what it is, can never be broken. For example, if you stretch a rubber band far enough, it'll eventually tear, you know? But here, the rubber band will stop stretching at a certain point and just not tear it. But here, the rubber band would stop stretching to at a certain point and just not tear at all. For the same reason your avatars can't get injured, you still will pay now. See, I told you it's not a big deal. Hey! What are you talking about? It's a really big deal. You gotta tell us stuff like that before. Thing, and every other sense of physics here are the same. Oh, wait. That's right. There's a special thing about avatars, too. Don't lie! There's still more? Spit it out already! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And what's special about the avatars? Um, to make things fair, everyone's avatar in this world has the same average physical strength. Means. Does that mean there are no discernible differences in our physical abilities? What did you say? So in this virtual world, I'm just as strong as Gunta? No way! What? Gunta weaker? That also cause of Himiko's magic? That not good! No! If Gunta not strong, Gunta no can protect everyone! Mm -hmm. It's not my fault. That's just how this world is. Um... Are those the only things different about this world, Mia? Hmm. Yeah, that's everything. By the way... By the way, how do we log out from this world? Ah. Oh, yeah, that's right. I need to tell you that. If you ever want to log out, you just need to use that phone over here. Just pick it up and say your name. Is that simple enough for you shitheads? Also, that phone is fixed and can't be removed from that room. Which means you have to use this room to log in and log out. Whenever you log in, you'll always appear in this room. Mm. Okay, got it. Get it? You guys better not cheat by logging out alone. We have to find the secret of the outside world. Jeez. Yeah, we got it. So where's this map? Ah. The map is posted on the wall outside of the room. Follow me. 